please subscribe and don't forget to press the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Now the Volvo 60 series of cars are spearing head into India. The first one to make it down to our shores is the XC60. Now earlier this week the car was launched in India and we got a chance to drive it. Take a look. Volvo's 90 series of cars have given the brand a complete overall in the Indian market. With their remarkable design and newish technologies, these cars have set the precedent for the other Volvo cars to follow. Well, that time is now because the brand is now ready to focus on the 60 series of cars. The first of which is this, the Volvo XC60. It is a crossover that is much loved around the globe and the new one seems like it will fit just fine into that lineage. It speaks the design language of its elders. And though I'm not a big fan of the same sausage different size philosophy, the elegance of Volvo's new design is something that I would openly welcome on various body styles. Like the 90 cluster of cars from Volvo, the XC62 is built on the scalable product architecture, a modular platform that allows Volvo's engineers and designers to customize the dimensions of the car to seat various body styles. The distance between the front axle and the dashboard remains unchanged on all SPA cars though and that works in the XC60's favour by giving it proportions fit for a premium crossover. Compared to its highly successful predecessor, the XC60 is 44mm longer, 11mm wider and 14mm shorter and the result is a crossover that looks very athletic in its stance. The XC60 does resemble the XC90 in many ways, but its smaller dimensions are evident even when it's standing solitary. If you can't judge it by its proportions though, one of the quickest ways of identifying the XC60 from the XC90 is the face, where the Thor's Hammer daytime running lights poke their way out to reach the grille. The headlight assembly is studded with adaptive LED headlamps, and the rear is typical Volvo with the trademark design for its tail lights. The side profile looks quite interesting too, with the 19-inch wheels beefing up the stance. The steering and the vertical infotainment screen establish the XC90 resemblance yet again. It is a good thing, since the buyer gets Volvo's top drawer equipment and materials even in the car maker's medium level car. I like the seamless panel of the grey-coloured open port wood that snakes through the length of the dashboard, and its natural texture feels nice to touch. You will also notice a flag of Sweden embossed in the chrome lining on the dash. Its coloured counterpart, as always, finds a spot on the side of the driver's seat. The perforated Napa leather upholstery on the seat looks best in tan, a shade that is getting increasingly popular with the customers, says Volvo. Trademark to new Volvo cars, the seats in the XC60 also have a slim profile and an orthopedic certified design. On the launch edition that you see here, these come specced with ventilation and massage functions for the front pair. The rear is quite roomy and the seats seem comfortable for long distance journeys. Despite the narrow glass house, there is an airy feel to the cabin thanks to a panoramic roof. I've always said this, Volvos have some of the best standard fit audio units and this one is no different. The 15 speaker Bars and Wilkins system, it's some of the best ones that you can listen to. And if you were to turn down the volume completely, this is still a very nice cabin to be in. The kind of noise insulation it has, it's just on par with any other premium car out there. The engine noises, the wind noises, road noises, everything has been nicely curbed and this is coming from a diesel motor. So overall, it's a very silent place to be in and a nice cabin to be in. Our drive was largely limited to the smooth tarmac of Chennai's East Coast Road and that is where the cabin felt even more silent. The engine refinement is hard to falter as well and the XC60 in turn builds space quite deceptively. It's not just the design that the XC60 shares with the XC90, it's also the lovely 2-litre diesel motor. Now the tune is very similar to what you have in the XC90. This puts out about 235 PS of power, about 480 Newton meters of torque. But compared to any of the other 90 series of cars that use this engine, the XC60 just makes this engine feel so much more 
enthusiastic, so much more fun to drive. As a package overall, I think this is the ideal Volvo where you can really enjoy that engine. In the other vehicles, it feels a little laid back in comparison, but here, it's a lot of fun. The eagerness of the engine is complemented by a fairly quick 8-speed transmission sourced from Isin and a Haldex all-wheel drive system. We have sampled this equipment in the past and it is no surprise that the XC60 is predominantly front-wheel driven and only summons the service of the rear wheels when it detects slip at the front. I'm pretty sure that for majority of our drive, our car stuck to the front-wheel drive configuration since the straight roads and the grippy tarmac was hardly any challenge for the front wheels. At launch, the XC60 will also ship with air suspension on all four corners and that enables the car to alter damping and ride height if needed. Our test car let us choose between eco, comfort, off-road and dynamic modes to alter the nature of the suspension and the drivetrain. Surprisingly, the individual mode to set the suspension or drivetrain parameters separately wasn't available. That said, the presets work just fine. The XC60 is an easy driver when you want it to be and seems like it will deliver equally well when given the beans. If the list of safety features isn't the juiciest part of the brochure, this car wouldn't qualify as a Volvo. Appreciably, the car maker hasn't shied away from bringing in some of its best safety tech to the India spec Volvo XC60 either. For a mid-level offering, the list is commendable and the most notable features and assistance systems are front, side and curtain airbags, collision mitigation support at the front and the rear, emergency steering assist, lane keeping assist and emergency braking assist. The city safety package which uses most of these systems in its operation had debuted in India on the previous generation XC60. The new one takes it further by being active at city as well as highway speeds, making it a safer package overall. The Volvo XC60 has always been one of the best buys from Sweden and this one just makes the deal sweeter. It is still as sensible as you would expect a Volvo to be, but it's got that little bit more enthusiasm, a little bit more youthfulness, and that should give it a wider appeal this time around.